Hi there, I'm Fuzz Townsend from Practical Classics magazine and we've come here today to unveil our new Jaguar Mark II 340 project and I'm telling you it really is a project. So come on let's go and have a look to see what's under that tarpaulin there. Well, Neil, I think we've uh, got a bit of work on here. I think so, mate. What can you tell me about this car, though? Ah, well, I found out today this is a lovely cov-registered Jag, not Nottingham, as we thought. So I reckon we can get the original registration back for this. Does that mean, though, that you're going to be doing a lot of work because it's oh, going to absolutely. spur you on being yeah, a Coventry yeah, yeah. boy? That's yeah. great. Well, that's good. OK, so let's have a look to see what we've got in this treasure trove. Now this car, as I said, does look pretty bad, but look at, looking around it, most of the stuff's there. If we've got most of the stuff there, then we can work with it and we can hopefully restore it. The seats, well, we've got a few rips and splits. If you look over here, the driver's seat is split badly at the back, but we'll be able to do something with that, even if we have to let in new material. All of the woodworks here, the headlining, well, I think we'll have to go for new with that. Um, and the bumpers here, right where it should be, so that's great. Okay then, the chrome. The chrome on this particular model is pretty important. If you don't get it, you could find yourself forking out an arm and a leg for absolutely tons of chrome, which you don't need to do. This, for instance, this chrome windscreen's around for just half of it from here round to there. That will set you back, including the VAT, 166 pounds. So that's 332 pounds for the entire surround. Now that's a lot of money to pay out if you don't have to. So make sure that you have everything that you can find when you pick your car up. OK, so let's have a look at the rest of the bodywork now. The main places we're looking at here are the main wheel arch itself. This one has already received a new, a new fill. We also need to look at the crow's feet, which are below the headlight and tucked underneath. Those are always rotten. And we'll find that some of the sections below there will also be very rusty indeed. Most panels are available new for this car, so we're well sourced for parts. But of course, they do cost money. So be careful what you buy and make sure that you're not going to have to replace anything like a whole wing, which will cost more than a thousand pounds to buy new. What we're looking for are small repairable sections, even though the overall project looks pretty, pretty rough. Okay. Looking along the line of the body, it's pretty straight. It was in use until about five or six years ago. It's not seen much action since then, but that at least means that we can expect it to have held together. It's not like it's been sitting out in mud whereby the, the base of it would have been rotten. So we're okay with this. The jacking points are a little bit rusty, but those again can be sourced new, or we can fabricate new ones from square section. And now to unveil a treasure trove. Well, there are always some goodies in the boot, so let's see what we've got here. We have panels, we've got a new spat panel here, a new door skin, but bingo, a manual. So the manual will show us which panels are available and which we need to replace and look at this we've even got some of the toolkit let's have a look to see what's under the bonnet then first things first let's see if we can turn it by hand yep we've got a turning engine that's one less job to do. Everything appears to be here. 
It's not been cannibalized, so we're not going to have to source any more expensive parts for this car. So with a bit of luck, we'll be able to get it rolling and get it on our trailer and get it back to the workshop pronto. Other way, Other way Neil. Right then, we're all hooked up and ready to go. And look what we just found in the boot. Cool. Look at that. Cool. Looks great. Give it a polish, Neil. Let's get going. <laughs> <laughs> See you back at the workshop.